Welcome back, everybody. To the month of spooks and scares, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Last time, well, Sherlock went on a little uh, adventure through a bookshop in uh, a mansion trying to find a servant, and then did a side quest about orphans and children working in labor in the 1800s and one taking their own life. Very sad side quest. But now let's continue with the pace. We must be off. Rue go! Where to, Gov? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. What to, Gov? Oh, chap. If I knew that was the end of chapter one, I literally would have finished it last time. I am sorry. The Blood Red Knight. So, there's seven chapters in this game, and I've already beaten one. Excellent. Both of London. Yes, sir. Alright, let's do this. Also, I put my camera in the bottom Mr. left. Oh. What a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that, Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? We don't know. We shall find out. Ooh, we're wearing the top hat now. You know what? Fine. Shock home can ask bystanders about pieces of evidence. Okay, um, let's go to the casebook and pin some evidence. A calling card. Oh, easily. Alright, let me just get rid of that. Also, I moved my camera on the bottom left of the screen. Sorry, I'm not used to being reversed on me. Uh, I put in the bottom right, or bottom left, I should say. Because top left, I noticed that it was blocking some of the menu items. Oh, like this. I was blocking some of these, so I'm like, I'll put myself in the bottom left. And if I need to move myself again, I will also know where. Let's go find some clues, everybody. You know, you look a trustworthy individual. Is this familiar to you? I think I can help you. Oh, wait, what? The man usually wanders close to the dockyard. I didn't expect to immediately get something for that. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It's a shame I can't answer your question. It's fine, dear sir, but I appreciate it. Quick question. Um. Okay, so the people icon means you have to talk to others. The talking icon means I can talk to somebody about that piece of evidence. That's what I'm assuming. So, okay. Also, I have to apologize for last time and how slow I was at certain things because I'm still learning this game and I don't know how certain mechanics work all the time. So you'll have to forgive me. But I think I'm getting the grasp of things. I haven't played an investigation type game in a long time. Reminds me of the Sinking City, which I only played five minutes of. I need to play more of that game. I don't think it's on. I don't think I'll be able to fit in this year, though. I have so many other games I want to play. Oh, I didn't think I can get in here. I have so many other games I want to play this year. I don't know if I can fit Sinking City. It's a shame. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. No, I've seen worse. 
Oh, okay. Hello, dear madam. I'm shocked. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. Um, observe. Oh, the chin. Chapped lips. I have that all the time. A bit? Oh, you're hungry. Oh wait, go back up. Vomit stains, mornus. Oh, you're pregnant. Trousers, a little too tight. Oh yeah, you're, you are pregnant. Now, is she hiding it? Let me see. The bard made... Okay, so this one's the same for the first paragraph. The bard maid is in early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and a pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition, however. She clearly has yet to know of her pregnancy, as she keeps wearing her usual clothes for too tight for her. Or... She tries hiding her swollen belly by wearing trousers that are too tight for her. Well, she has the morning sickness. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna say she's trying to hide it? About I heard tell yeah. of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Hmm. Also, I am not an investigator. I hope I got that right. Your clothes are already tight, and soon they won't fit at all. How far along are you? I... I thought I'd hidden it better. Yes! How did you know? Are you a doctor? In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. <laughs> I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Okay. Let's provide some evidence. Are you familiar with a Roy Soulsby? Roy Soulsby? Hmm, I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. Okay, we need help finding a man. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things yeah, down. Yeah, that doesn't help. Mmm, that coffee tastes good. Mm, listen, that makes me happier than a good cup of joe. Okay. Tickets to Oak Mount, Massachusetts are still available. Sharon will depart next... Sharon will depart next Tuesday from Pier N2. Which type is Sharon? Because... Oh, wait. Missing person's poster. Help. Grivish missing for a week. Please tell if you see him. Ask Daya in Fort Shantytown. Red rag over house entrance. Ah, uh, side quest. Side quest. All right. Wasn't expecting to get another side quest, but here we are. This game does look... So, in case you're wondering, uh, this game has horror elements. So that's why I'm playing it for October. Uh, it's not like deep, deep horror. Like, oh my god, it's so scary horror. But it has horror elements and so it fits in to October, personally. Uh, we have yet to see it. But we only did the first chapter. Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Are you able to help me? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. I'm, oh, wait, do I have any others? No, just this one. Okay. Oh wait, nope. That's into the bar. That's where I just left. Hey, sir. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. All right. There's blood right there, but I'm gonna assume it's not anything, you know, dangerous. Where's the map again? Oh, not you. 
I mean, I, I might as well run around like this, but I don't need that. I was just trying to find the map. There is a map for this game, right? Ah, oh, there it is. Cursed Maid. Well, I said we run around to find out. Alright. Clues can be hidden anywhere. You know what? I haven't read a Sherlock Holmes book in a good long time. I have the complete collection actually on my bookshelf over there. Hello. No? Okay. Man, this, uh... Oh, wait. Nope. Are you able to help me? Oh, sorry, I know nothing. Can I ask you a question? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anything. Hello? Oh, well, okay. Okay. Very sick here. Oh, it sounds as though those people will need my help. Give me a second. We got a new case, everybody. In the port shanty town, someone called for a doctor. Perhaps Watson can help. Let's do it. Hello, this is Dr. Watson. Oh, this probably isn't good. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's a good thing these people take something from it. The water has a curious whitish tinge to it. Yeah. That's some nasty looking water. <laughs> Where's that last piece of evidence I need? Subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions here. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I ask you a question? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. Help me, please. No, sorry. I know nothing. Okay. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Yes, Ishima can't answer your question. You tried. Help me, please. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. How about you, lady? Just leaning over here. Can I ask you a question? I wish I could be a belt, but I can't. Sorry. Hmm. What are you looking at? Do you like to watch how a man suffocates himself for food? Looking at. You like to watch how a man suffocates himself for food? I don't like the way you're acting, young man. Uh, well, not young. Oh! Okay, upstream. The coffin won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Oh, okay. Don't do that. Coffin won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. Is this upriver or is that upriver? I don't know which way's upriver. That's a problem. I want to get over there. Come, Watson. This is not a river. All right, let's deal with this guy first. I'm going to try, it's not really a promise, but I'm going to try and do every chapter in one episode because I don't want this game lasting too long, but oh, we'll see. Gruesome. It's been 
decomposing oh. humans. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. Honestly, I was mashing the button because of the pot right here. There. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. I'm not too about finding the kidnapper yet. <laughs> I don't know where I'm running. I just want to find. Oh, hello, dear sir. Nope. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. Must be serious. How many cases am I gonna get? Well, that one actually sounds really interesting. Where's Warehouse 2? May I ask you something? I'll try and keep this. Well, you tried. Over warehouse oh, must be serious. Man, I'm accepting a bunch of cases and I've yet to solve one. I should stick the one case for now. Or else I'm gonna, you know, forget what I did. Well, I'm at the warehouses now. Might as well do this. No, I'm on pure throw. Oh, no, I don't want to be here. Main story. Not here. Anything but there. I'm sorry. I am trying to get my way around here. This area seems bigger than um, Baker Street. I'm also getting Call of Cthulhu, the- ah, here we are. The original Call of Cthulhu. Oh, uh, man. Warehouse 2. Warehouse 4. 6. Wait. No, 3. 4. 6. 12. 11. I am going really far away. I wonder if the Lovecraftian elements are about to hit. It's gonna be very interesting to see how they incorporate Lovecraftian elements to a Sherlock Holmes game. Because he is not one that believes in the superstition at all, as you saw with his talk with uh, Watson. Oh, here we are. Good evening, Constable. I heard some people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. <sighs> uh, gossips, all of them. An old lady neighbor saw some lights in ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandpa Kujak. He owned a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and... Well, it is a bit creepy. But I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damned explosion. Good night, sir. Thank you, officer. All right, we're on the case. Let's see. The deceased owner of the warehouse had a business with theater props. The constable can be found around the cursed mermaid pub. After the search, should we need him? All right, everyone, here we go. The first big thing I'm doing this episode. I think this explains it. An effective contraption. 
It still works. Interesting. How can I help? I could try and flag someone down. No, no. It's fine right now. Um, there's clearly been people in here drinking. Um, I see that. They opened the casket and left marks. Wait, what's that uh, chemical that makes things glow in the dark? So I think that's... A herbal odor with an athelic base. Liquor? Hmm. There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look at that. No. Next. Oh, that's all I have for now. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I never had a meat pie. I can only imagine they're okay. Who is this intended to scare? Oh, it's the thing I just uncovered. Ah, I'm like, what was that? Phosphorus, used recently. Phosphorus? Where is this going? I don't know, Holmes. I don't know. Oh, wait. Next. Oh, please. That's not what's happening. Dude has at least two sticks and he's putting them on the ceiling. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. Hello. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Oh, Mary. Okay. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. Oh, I didn't mean to leave. I thought the door was locked. This place is haunted. Empty space missing crates. Several crates are missing. All right, give me a second. We have more clues. I can put together this one. There we go. That I like better. We need more clues though. Time to rub my, oh. Somebody had fun. I think. Yep. Next. There's no way that's what happened. Yeah, that's what I think what happened. Somebody had fun. Anything in there? Nope. Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. The head looks real. That piece of wood is really just jump. Oh, here we go. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Oh my god! No. Yeah. All right, we just need one more clue. And I think we have it. One more clue for which one? No. Oh, the boxes. Nope, not you. Get away. Nope, not you. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Do you feel like a meat pie? No, 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 no. Now what? That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. We're missing one piece of evidence, Watson. Do you want to help me here? Empty space, missing crates. We are missing just one. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Watson, if you say it one more time, I swear you're not getting anything later.
No. 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 I am robbing myself against every. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Watson, please. This is not about meat pies. This is about the thrill of the case. And how we're missing one. Who is this intended to scare? No. Yeah, I already got all the clues there. You're useless. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. Wait. Brain? Is it brain time? No. No, 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 no. No brain. I need to pin that, by the way. No. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Watson. It is not the time to eat. We're on the chase. We're just missing one clue about boxes. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. No brand or mark. I am just missing. Yeah, that. That. I'm happy with everything. There's an octopus right there. Yeah, that one seems correct too. I just need that last clue. Which, maybe it's this? I mean, this was the only thing I saw standing out there, but nope. That's most likely the ghost the old lady saw through the window. Wait! Oh my god! Okay, we got something. It's definitely not that, but let's try it. Yeah, no, this one needs to change. Out the front door. Their last clue's probably out here somewhere. The markings. Oh, it's rope. Yeah, I came out here. So I had to go over here. Yep, there are the tracks still. They go this way or this way? I do not see tracks. Too small. 
Mm. It went over here. But then where did it go? If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Ow. Oh, well, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I don't see any tracks this way. There's too many people probably watching too, so... Whatever happened, happened back there. Hey, it's the dying man. Right, let's go back this way. Mar Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. Must be serious. Must be serious. Morton swears he saw ghosts. I swear it. I think he's lonely. Lonely loco. That's not right. That is not right. I need something more. That's correct. That's not correct. That's correct. Those are nothing. That's correct. Unless. No. All right, one second. He went this way. So yeah, maybe with this quest selected, I might be able to... Nah, it doesn't look like it. A small cart left those tracks. Now you want to look at it? Ah. You have to forgive me. Yeah, no, that makes the sense. All right. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. Ooh. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. Huh. Now I get to do it. Alright. You have to forgive me, like I said, I am an idiot. Now the tracks are showing up. I was jumping ahead of myself. How good did I do at tracking? Let me see. Not that way. Wait. Really? Dr. Tippett's electric hectobrain. Patent medicine of the future. This is a patent medicine. A quick fix at an expensive price that drags the patient slowly into death. Oh no. Beverage is a medicine named Dr. Tippett. Uh, Watson says, oh. Wait, do you think that means? If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Oh, wait, I have to talk to people about this. Excuse me, just one question. I think I can help you. Oh, Dr. Tippett's... Uh, we found the shanty towns. It is dispensed in a yard to the sick and suffering. Shanty towns, shanty towns, where are the shanty towns? Uh, aha! Go, teleport. We're on the, the case! won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. 
Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. What are you looking at? You like to watch how a man suffocates himself for food? I think these two might be connected. Is this familiar to you? It is a shame I can't answer your question. It's fine. Uh, if you can't answer, it's fine, dear sir. The only house with a light on it. Hello, ma'am. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the pool. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. What can I get you? Okay, well that's something. I came here for one thing and got another. I'm gonna try and do all the side cases, by the way. No promises, but I'm going to try. Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Understood, understood. To the shanty towns. Oh, wait. I don't believe in ghosts. I did when I was a kid. Uh, sir, it is not a ghost. May I ask you something? Oh, sorry. I thought it'd be you, red flag. Oh, well. All right. Let me see the shanty towns. hospital uh oh the patient has a high temperature and is short of breath the cart from warehouse two found him i can hear the patient <laughs> suffers with their lungs sir you're in trouble allow me to observe you He's very young. He has the phosphorus on his hands. Almost doctor, homemade medicine recipes. Oh. oh, oh. The man appears to be too young to have complete medical studies and therefore can hardly claim his doctor title. His hands are stained by phosphorus, most likely from the prop warehouse. He's carrying a book of homemade medicine. He may have good intentions, but good intentions are a poor substitute for expertise. His hands are stained by phosphorus. He's carrying a book of homemade medicine. He's trying to make a quick buck by exploiting people's naivete and despair. I'm. Mm, I want to say he's a self taught healer. The thing is, he went through the trouble of messing with the phosphorus. You're a charlatan. Good evening, sir. Are you the gentleman who sells that intriguing Pecto Brain beverage? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Thomas Tippett, and yes, it's proud inventor and purveyor. Are you a doctor? You seem remarkably young. <laughs> I'm self-educated. I help people in need around these parts with my medicine. Helping, as in bringing to the grave? That is unfair, sir. The virtues of my invention are to calm the nerves, to stop coughing due to the endless smog, and to help children to sleep. Has your beverage been tested by your peers or any medical authority? I am a doctor, and it appears that you are playing with people's lives, people who place their trust in you to ease their pain. People need help, and drugs are expensive. My formula helps, and it's inexpensive. 
The product is dispensed from here only, so dose and usage are controlled. I looked into other patented medicines. They contain harmful or useless substrate, and they're sold in respected shops and pharmacies. Do you realize what you are doing? You are playing with people's health. You are a doctor. Take a look at my product. You won't find mercury, radium, lithium, or any other toxic substances drowned in alcohol and sold freely by so-called health professionals. I can show you how I work. Let me help people. Watson, what do you make of this situation? I, I'm not sure. Patent medicines can be a scourge, yes. But he is not entirely wrong in practice. Why the haunted warehouse? Well, nobody was using it, and people are afraid of ghosts. It kept them away until today. Um, what I do is not entirely legal. He mixed them in the warehouse to make it look haunted so no one can... Wow. I might have been wrong. The cart from warehouse two. Right, let's um... I can hear the patient suffers with their lungs. The patient has a high temperature and is short of breath. The cart from warehouse two. Oh wait. up to 50 people here every day it is working oh i think it is connected thomas tippett is distributing a cure of his own to the port's inhabitants he seems to be on his own mission to help those in need the police can be informed or he can go on doing what he does. The coffin won't go away and the doctor's too pricey. All right, let's go back to sick mudlark. Almost no fish the last couple of days. All right, we're gonna do this now. Oh wait. Pile of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. The waterway goes under the buildings. We'll need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. All right, let's the do it. The won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. The disease might be found upstream, and that's where we're going. I'll let the police officer probably know about the guy, by the way. As much as I agree with him that maybe he should help and those who are too unfortunate to get medicine it is wrong to experiment on him. So I will not stand for it. This pipe disposes of wastewater from a factory, a possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. Damn it. I saw that and immediately went, yes. Alright. It's hard to remember, it's hard to believe that back then they just waste right there. Human waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning. Okay. I can't see any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. Nope. Or has one? No. Okay, where else could poisoning come from? I mean, it, it, it's probably high chance from the water. Let's not lie to ourselves about that. It is two. Okay, warehouse two. Um, no, don't go too far. I want to stay where the warehouses are because that's where the water is. Warehouse three, four, keep going that way. 
12. A tree. Can I go in 12? Does that mean I can enter it sooner or later? Because I can touch it. All right, everyone, keep a uh, note. I could probably go back to 12 one day. My nose itches. <laughs> May I ask you something? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Sorry, sir. But I cannot help you. Um. Damn. I ran all around. Can I go in here? No. Yeah, I can. I can interact with 12. Hmm. Planks were broken with force. Need to find something that poisons them. Hey, sir. No. Wait. Heart tracks fell sideways under weight of pressure. Broken through by force recently. A recent car crash. Oh. Brian, never load this trolley with more than half the weight of Danny Nutcracker, 200 pounds at a time. She did the Mexican Flamingo with Joshua, and the poor thing is not running well since the trolley, that is. Joshua broke long ago. Also, the ship from Barbosa, Barbos, asked for one ton of fennel. So let's hurry up. Ivy. Fennel. Phenol. A dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer coming from spayed chemicals. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay, we found it. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Um, what do we do now? Oh. Do you. you know anything about this? <laughs> of course I know. To cut a long story short. Oh! The spade chemicals is Warehouse 5. Thank you. Okay, we're going to Warehouse 5. Everybody, we got stuff going on. I am actually getting decent at the skill. Oh, there's Warehouse 7. Three. This way. Four. Twelve. Can't do anything with twelve yet. Let me in twelve. The long-awaited mystery is in twelve, clearly. I feel we'll hit twelve uh, probably during the main story. If I can't enter it now, definitely. Oh wait. Um. Where is five? I just saw six, seven, and four. Six, seven, four, no five. There's ten. Nine, eight. Excuse me, ma'am. 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 Uh. Fine. Three. Two. Five! Here we are! Barrels of phenol from your company ended up in the canal. It has poisoned people. You will need to clean it up properly. Otherwise, we will inform the authorities. What the? We will call the cleaning brigade immediately. I hope this can stay between us. Of course. Uh... What's that do for our poor sick 
Dude, though. He's dying. Oh. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? No, shut it, Watson. Alright. Um, so if I were to fast travel back to Shantytown and talk to the dying man, can I do anything? Probably not. Gentlemen, the doctor here and I have found the source of the contamination. Spade chemicals will take care of it. That's, that's pretty good news. But how long will it take? And what about a friend? Will someone pay for his treatment? Pressurize the company. But for now, get rid of the stained clothes and rinse any phenol-affected skin. No one else should touch the canal today. Thank you. We'll do that. Let's go to the cheap doctor for help. There we go. Excellent. And we got two new clothings. Hmm. Ooh. Plague Doctor actually isn't that bad. Oh. Plague Doctor mask. <laughs> Look at me. Yes. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, let's uh... I feel bad for him. The coffin won't go away and the doctor's too pricey. I know they're trying to make you feel bad for doing this. Because they're like, oh, the coughing and everyone's sick. But still, he is not a doctor. Constable, my name is Dr. Watson. A man called Thomas Tippett has opened a field hospital nearby and is selling illegal medicine there. He is using Warehouse 2 for his smuggled product. Please stop him. I knew it was a swindle. Real ghosts don't look like that. I'll check on this crook right away. All right. Do I feel terrible? Uh, ooh. Eh, they could look. Those are actually decent looking glasses, about pass. All right, what do we have? The missing person flyer. Help give us me for a week. Have you asked Dana in Port Shantytown? Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Okay. Like, you're the only. Po well, actually, now I look at. That's not a red flag, is it? No. The, I mean, the shanty town, but that's not a red flag. I got itch on my nose and it won't go away. Alright, let's uh, do this and then we'll do more store. This is not the shanty town. Cigars worth a lady. Wait, 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 I need to know. Ha <laughs> ha. Can't get. Man, right now all my cases are all over the place, but I am solving them. Help me, please. It's a shame I can't answer your question. I mean, it's nice to talk to me while you are struggling to get that out. He is doing bad. All right, look for the red flag, everybody. Red flag. That's the bar. Campfire, but not a flag. Oh, wait. Hey, I think I found it. Um. Hello. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where was your brother last seen? Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. Oh. He paid him a ne a necklace. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, 
my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire, big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Do you still have the necklace that Soulsby gave to Gidavess? Gidavess left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Alma medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of metal. Uh, don't go anywhere. Flashlight? All right, let's see what we have. There's two clues. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? I don't know, but I'm gonna see if he is. This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Okay. So. All right. Pin. Let's do this. We got a case. We have to find his brother. I should have helped Alma put out the posters. If she hadn't been in the smoke so long, maybe she wouldn't be sick. I'll find your brother, man. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Usually when Sherlock Holmes is... Yeah, it's been shut down. I'm sorry, man, but... Law is a law for a reason. And those two are gone now. Actually, yeah, go to the bar. Who else would know a person with a metallic eye? Excuse me, just one question. No, sorry, I know nothing. All right. Yeah, the bar. The barmaid. Of course she would. Excuse me, ma'am. Who was not pregnant? Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him, even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm. I see. Okay. My advice, keep away from him. Sorry, no can do. All right, we have new info. Man, why is the music creepy right now? It has a haunting tune to it. Oh, I just noticed tentacles in the background move. Hmm. I hear a kitty. Kitty, kitty. All right, um, Dirty Summers, uh, she has no idea where to find him, but she did mention he might have gotten hired to a ship. So let's, wrong one, go to the shipyard. Here three. I like how fast fast travel is. It is fast. All right, let's see if we can find them. Are you able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Well, the thing is, these don't have ask anymore. She says, "I, I, dirty summers, according to her, summers, dangerous. She has no idea where to find them." Help me, please. Sorry, sir. I can't help you. All right. They don't know where Dirty Summers is. Hmm. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Oh, um, leave. I shall take my leave. Nope, not doing that yet. Mm -mm. 
I found him by accident. <laughs> what time is it? I don't want to stay. Ooh, it's. Yeah. Alright. I am enjoying this game right now, though. Can I ask you a question? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. I just need to know a dirty summers. Man, it's raining a lot. It's almost like I'm in England. Are you able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Hmm. Boy says spirit after Roy. Maybe I do gotta talk to him. Okay, back to Roy. We gotta intertwine some things. Ooh, camera, why are you doing that? Camera keeps throwing itself out in the back end. What are you gawping at? Are you Roy Slowsby? Pardon me, sir, I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. You look like a sleaze bag. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now, and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking uh -huh. gibberish. Ah, intertwined. Now, where was I? I want to know... Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. What are you on about? Mm. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. Have you seen this before? My, my card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? Let's observe and find out. Many stamp ink stains. Hmm, cuz. Average height is five foot five. Ooh, Wal Waltham Hillside Pocket Watch. It's solid gold. It has outfit looks off. No muscle tone. He's not brawny. All right. Uh, he is of English blood, around five foot five, and has an average build. He his lack of muscle tone implies that he is hardly strong. Mr. Salisbury does not seem to look like come he he is a doctor. His left palm bears a stamp and stains. Some letters are visible, like H M Cuz. Apparently, Mr. Salisbury is a customs officer. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. He could never afford such a thing, so he may have stolen it, or only or only a corrupt customer officer could afford such a thing. I'm gonna say he's a thief. No, mm, yeah, yeah, thief. That boat explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. Man, Watson. Who? <laughs> All right, Mr. Soulsby knows nothing about recent disappearances. Poor woman came to. Why people are going missing? I'm at a dead end. Oh wait, where? Uh, who abducted? No, I want who? 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 Who abducted? We got 
Oh, jeez. There's a lie here. Soulsby's calling card. Oh, never mind. Uh, who? All right. Uh, let's do. Throw it all together. Oh. Everyone's testimony. Dirty Summers is the abductor. And he's the accomplice. Well, well, on edge, you know. well. What are you gawping at? Hey. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What makes you say that? Choose evidence. The a man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. All right, that's one. Okay. She says a man, poor in the summers, dangerous man, missing person's poster. No. Silver tie. Mr. Soulsby knows not appears. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You, you cannot be serious. Yes. This proves nothing. Damn it. Sorry, you lost me there. Mr. S and how do I Oh wait, oop. Sorry. Mr. All right. And how Sorry. Mr. All right, let's try this again. And how do I Mr. Oh my god, can I select the correct ones? All right. A man named what? That's one. Your coach. That's two. It's true, and that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly, you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be Damn delighted it, he is to investigate crooked. further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. I could do with a pint of the Cursed Mermaid. Um, with the thought of walking in this fog. If you go back a couple seconds, his uh, jacket was up and you had no torso. All right, one second. So that means... All right, I'm about to call it a day, but let's go back to the Cursed Mermaid. Also, I think it's Warehouse 12, because remember, I can interact with Warehouse 12's door. Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting on? I have nothing more to add, sir. Really? Then... No. No. That's useless. No. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? No. A customs officer, Roy Soulsby, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. Okay, that one's already selected. 
It holds a brand new... No, we already said that, in a way. She says, according to her, she has no idea where to find them. Hard to make it. Are you... What? I am. Mm. I failed. Are you... Did I select the wrong I... one? I did. Oh. I I... Wait, what? Why do I have the feet? I... I failed. Are you... Why is that not working? I... Okay. I fa what? I... Uh... Enough. Oh, right. You start with that and then the character for the, uh, hey, oh. Those are, okay. Um, nothing to do with that. If the lives of the missing do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn yeah, child. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or she got pregnant. Me? Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Hmm. Here's the key. Go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. Private room, eh? Strong men need need for moving. Crates and warehouse. Five shillings. That won't go far. No. Oh, hello. Parker and Williams Company, Manchester. Invoice number 012B. Okay. High quality sailcloth. Packed in wool. Okay. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. The job is moved. Yep. All right, we got a little uh, some new info. Let's go. All right. The hairs on the back of my neck stood up. <laughs> I wonder if we're about the. To... Oh, let me talk to her first. Um. What did you see of Summer's work here? He was recruiting people. It was like the whole world came through my door. People of all creeds and colors, but always strong, always tall. They seem like workers or journeymen. Makes sense. Beyond that, there's not much more to tell. I took his money and let him be. All right. And this lasted how long? Several weeks, I wager. Mm -hmm. After the incident the other day. All right, I got to find the warehouse he is at. Oh, wait. Where is Camille here? Let's... Take a guess. Oh, I actually can I replace that. Yeah, let me take that away and actually iron notice. All right. And. Dirty Summers has hired men for warehouse work specifically to carry crates of sailcloth. The abductees could still be inside the warehouse, which should be marked with red paint. Seems customers are staying at home. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? 
The people here are resilient. Tomorrow it'll all be forgotten. Alright. I am making progress. I think maybe this is near the end of this chapter. I don't know. But I am going to call it. Not for this episode. But I'm going to call it for the day. Because it's getting a little bit late. Uh, I got work tomorrow, so. I'll continue. Momentarily. Look at that. I'm back. Let's continue, shall we? I gotta remember. Gary Summers has hired men for warehouse work, specifically to carry crates of sail cloth. I have to ask around, so let's go do that. Alright, let's go ask. You. Is this familiar to you? I can't help you with this. Well, you're no use to me. How about this ram guy's been standing here the whole time? Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Damn. Well, he did say in the last episode, uh, not the last episode, the last uh, time I was recording this is it was in a warehouse dock with a red marking next to it. Are you able to help me? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. All right. Let's go to the warehouse. Let's go to warehouses. You, wait. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Alright, nice you tried. Alright. You? May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. That's a lie, you someone know else. Let me go to 12, because that's the only one I could interact with. Hmm. Alright, 12 is on its own, wasn't it? Oh, wait, how about you? May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Oh, wait, I, ju I just noticed this is not an ask one. This is a pin one and observe. Two, but we already been in two. And this is four. That is 12. So I'm curious if this is the one. Oh, wait, what? Um, what am I doing? Oh, wait, how does this work? Oh, you have to align them, don't you? So don't touch that. All right, raise. Raise. Oh, a little too much. Back out you go. Down. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I see what I have to do now. Oh, yeah, this is an interesting lock picking game. Got it. All right, I figured that out decently quick. It is not a Skyrim locking game where every game is stolen from. This one's interesting. All right. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Anything? No. The layers of rust will prevent any movement. What about the thing on it? Layers of rust will prevent any movement. Okay, never mind. Oh, wait. Oh, we got stuff. Oh, okay, we got footprints. Good quality, but torn in many spots. Never mind, they're not torn. They're not footprints. My bad. They're stained. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. Hmm. Why is this door or window open? Crowbar. 
There are a couple of marks on this end. Dried mud. Port of London soil. Hmm. There's one more piece of info. Oh, wait, I can move up and down. There we go. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. Find out how the intruder. Wait. I got an achievement. Or finding out how the intruder entered the warehouse. Wait, this, is this the one where there's broken fencing on the side? That was. The planks were broken with force. Okay, so someone broke into this warehouse. Why? Oh, I thought that was something, but it's nothing. Alright, let's continue. This crank saw some use. This crank saw some use. All right. Crank it. I got the feeling this is covering something. It's just a feeling, though. Could be wrong. Wait, we got stuff. Well oiled and well maintained. Ah. Okay, so that is a hint because the sailcloth left out. Oh wait, there's a handprint right there. Nope, don't care. Okay. Fit for a crank. Hmm. So in other words, grab that crank. But yeah, it shows that there's more to this warehouse than you think. Everything is torn out. Well, actually, it looks like someone just tore all the sailcloth out. Maybe not. Never mind. Evidence. I'll take that. Oh, I'm almost to a level up. Nice. But yeah, I have a feeling there's more to this than met the eye. Will do. Yeah. A hidden passage. Just as I expected. Yeah, I kind of saw it too. There was more there than I thought. Oh, that's not good. Uh, am I done with everything? Um. Give me a second. I'm making sure I'm good. Okay, no, his brother was hired. Wait here, Watson, and keep an eye on the doors. I'll scout the premises. Will do. Be careful down there. So I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, by the way. I'm trying to do these chapters in one day bits, or there's more to come. Alright. Let's see what awaits me down here. I'm not expecting too much. Probably Hidden Passage with a bunch of illegal loot. My game is starting to lag. Wait, what's happening? I can move, I can move. Never mind. Go away. Where am I? I think we just met the horror. Oh, yeah. 
What are you? Strangely cold. Something is missing. That's a hand. I'm trying this to... cannot have been under the port of London all along. Is it an illusion? Yeah, right now you, he is having. Oh wait, that guy's alive. They're all alive. Hmm. Wait. The only way forward is the abyss. Only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. The only way forward is the abyss. Hmm. Oh, I can. All right, here we go. Phew, I didn't die. It sounded like it. What is this? Oh, oh, I just mashed through that. I'm sorry. That sounds so unpleasant. My heart, be calm. This is all in your mind, Holmes. Just kill somebody. Short stride boot. Oh, he was here. Oh, it's timed. The more do it, more people die. Do I have to walk? I want to run so bad. Now I am somewhere else. How? It's harder to breathe here. Here's something down there. What is that? Oh. Part of me wants to jump down there. Uh, part of me says, don't do it. I hear something over there. Oh, that's a tower. It stares right through me. Oh, he's starting to lose it. I have an idea. Do I have this stare at you all backwards? Worth a try. All right, everyone, let's see what happens. I gotta know. Oh, no. oh. revolting. Not gonna lie, I thought I died. Okay. Do not jump down. All right, once again, more of those. Wait. Oh, now they're going back up again. Wait, I have an idea. So if I go this way and go where that noise is, Alright. 
Alright, and now I know what it wants me to do. It wants me... That's right. My head is already spinning. When will this end? I have no idea, Holmes. There's there are two recesses. Mm. You know, I didn't ex oh, wait. Let's go. Wait. Size nine boots coming away from this door. Yeah, let's go. Kind of trickery is this? Okay, I think I know we're gonna we're gonna look for footprints going forward, not back. So let's go. All right, let's go with this one. Wait, yeah, this is where I want. Size nine, clear edge. Okay, got it. Again, you want this way. Wait, let's just go through this door now. No, okay, what I was trying to do isn't actually working. Go in here. What just happened? I don't know. I refuse this time. This is going to be trial and error. Hmm. Oh, it's dark. All right, let's go back. Hmm. Okay, this one might stump me for a bit. Let's go to this store. One of these has a book. No. Alright, no, no, no. Go out. Alright, I'm looking for something. Where are the footprints? Where are the footprints? I need the footprints. That's nasty. A strange stone. It almost feels alive. Yeah, that's uh Alright, I solved that one, so I'm not stupid stupid. That's one stone, let's input one it. One down, one to go. This door. this we got this well technically if i want to go by that by extremely doubt that means anything 
And their footprints are gone. I'm not seeing them anymore. Alright, let's start from... Those are some interesting rock formations. Hey! I think I know that man. That eldritch being. Hey man, big fan of yours. Love the books. I especially love your video game. From what? Uh, it was early. It was Xbox 360 on PC also. Yeah, these footprints go forward. More forward. in there the footprint the footprint but then they stop right there No, I got a feeling this is used for something. I don't know what. How did they make that happen? Oh, that's just truly revolting. Oh. Frozen and pulsing almost like it has a heart. Okay, I... You had a backtrack, literally. Huh. I think I rushed it too fast. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, nope, this is how it works. Oh, this is weird. Oh no. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I messed up. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go die now. I was up to say, wow, that's a weird puzzle. Yeah, I should have guessed this game was something about Cthulhu. Hey, buddy. What's about to happen? Am I... Did I get out? Wait, you have a lantern? John? What is it, Holmes? Oh, I'm playing Watson now? Yes! I am the best man. Watson? Holmes, where are you? Alright. Watson? Holmes. What's wrong, man? Holmes. Holmes, are you all right? Uh, fine, Watson. Um, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Wait, I have fine. facial hair? By Jove, you should have heard the way I you called a, out my name. I have it a five o'clock shadow. Just a game of shadows. Yeah, I got five o'clock shadow now. I'm, I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Something that's finally interesting. Um. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Holmes has a five o'clock shadow going on right now, and I did not do that. How long was he in there for? I hope we are close to finding our answers. I... This place is unsettling. You know, I have no idea. Hey, hey buddy, Cthulhu. Oh. Did you hear that, Watson? I, uh, I hear you. 
Kjernak, Flegethor, Lebumna, Siaha, Inguft. Um. Finglui, Maglanafa, Cthulhu, Rilia, Waganagal, Fatagan. What? What on? What on earth? How is that possible? I don't think I should have did whatever I just did. It's too late now. Got an achievement for it. Rousing the cat. Rousing from slumber, my bad. Oh. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Oh, let me. Oh, man, I'll move over a bit more. Let's see what we got. No, we already looked at you. We got the scale. I mean, this this oh. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. The box with the Edelweiss. That's kind of important, whatever this is. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Oh, wait. We have something. Or. With all the beds down here, I think it might be this. Maybe. There are a lot of mattresses. Miserable food, mass produced. Miserable food, mass produced. Nothing new there. Oh, I must have seen this one before. That explains my hallucinations. Yes, actually, that was where you were, in a way. We should go look at the body. Oh. Mud intentional drawing. Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? <laughs> Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. Is this his clothing? These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American judging by the style? Nope, never mind. There's blood. It's just no, no, no. I'm trying to find the last bit of evidence, but not seeing it. Nothing, nothing. Has to be higher up then. Watson, help me. I'm looking for the last piece of evidence. I can't find it. Oh wait, I'm stupid right here. Blood, human hair. Oh, we can recreate. Maybe I'm not. Oh, that is all we got. Right. Yeah, this dude's been dead for a while. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck, 
This man was strangled. His abdomen is severely bloated. Broken nails, dried mud crumbs. Hmm. Oh, give me a finish. Needle prick. Oh, wait. What do we have? Hmm. And then we got another one for you. Maybe. Ritual dagger. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. Same one that the brother had. An American passport. Amos Colby. Anything on the back? Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Given name, Amos. Amos. Surname Colby. Hair red. Eyes brown. Date of place and birth. Date and place of birth, April 20th, 1852, in Boston, Massachusetts. Date of entry in the country, September 22nd, 1882. The back of the passport features a bloody drawing. It vaguely depicts a sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Yeah, just an octopus. Northwood Agency, any manner of discreet investigations. For you, we shall search the world. 154 Pennsylvania Lane, Boston, Massachusetts. And then a sacrificial dagger. I've never seen a pattern like this before. And then old blood stains. <sighs> All right, we got some ready. Let's so. No, they strangled him. This game was on Kickstarter, right? Are these all the Kickstarter backers? Who are these people? Or are they the devs? These actually might be the devs. I know this game was on Kickstarter. It tells you when you first start it. But I take it there's going to be no evidence in here. This is just the Kickstarter backer room. Probably, or the dev room. One I am not sure of, but very cool it exists. But they're next to a murder. I got solved. Oh, we got something. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. They're ugly. Oh, Dumpra. A staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. Gathered from dozens of people at the very least. Oh. It's good. All right, let's see what we got. Next. Forcefully removed. Forcefully. There we go. Forcefully. That last one was a forceful. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Oh, potent. 
This sensor has more narcotic residues. Oh, wait, we got something. Scratches, bloodstains, torn fingernails. Oh. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. Someone was inside the coffin. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. Blood or a hole. A small blood stain. Yeah. But not serious. Ah, this is probably where he was. That would explain the blood. No. Yeah. Many people were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. A few tried to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. Uh, what, what the hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm connecting the dots now. All right. All right, we got a bunch of new stuff. Let's connect some dots, everybody. All right. Who is the dead man on the altar? Blue is useless. Okay. Um, The hiring notice is definitely going to be important. Probably. Um... Strange symbols. No hiring notice. I doubt Kamea Mia. It's not Roy Soulsby. He has dark. Wait. Dark red hair, right? Colby. He's Colby. In that evidence. He's an undercover agent. He drew that. I thought it was something. Roy Soulsby. Um. How about hiring notice? Is it gonna be Warehouse Twelve happenings? No. Okay. It's not strange symbols. Unknown man. I mean, is it unknown man on altar? Oh, okay. I was trying to put things together that were already put together. The man on the altar was private detective from the Northwood Agency in Boston. Mr. Colby may have been investigating the disappearances before getting caught and killed by the perpetrators. Now, where have the abducted been sent to? 
tin box? No. That pendant is going to be important. Soulsby, London. No. The damage label, Top Reads Institute, maybe. Um, more. Mm. So close. We got the tin box and warehouse 12 happenings. Um, I thought I'd be hiring notice, but no. Would it be this finally? Yeah. S Switzerland? Oh, it's the Swiss flag. The abductees are headed for the black. Elderwise Institute established in the 1700s. It lies somewhere in Switzerland. All right. The abductees are heading to the Institute. It's hard to know how much to pack. I might bring a spare notebook just in case. Oh. Oh! Oh, you have to give me a second. 1700s. Oh. Field of activity. Uh, it's... It's a... Black Institute... So, medicine? try established in 1789 by professor keller the institute specializes in mental illnesses and addictions it is currently headed by professor gygax dr watson how does a trip to switzerland sound to you it sounds unexpected what makes you think we should head there it's all about the box with narcotics and mr colby's clue the cross inside a rectangle put two and two together add a dash of research and what do you get the Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Oh, that's chapter two. So yeah, these chapters aren't too long. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Hello? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Hatchet was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? Hmm. You know, I'm not gonna, I love the interaction between these two. 
Well, let's see where chapter three takes us, and then I'll end it here. Well, in Switzerland, we got the chocolate. And a spooky forest. The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. It feels like we're about to play Darkest Dungeon with the carriage being drawn through a forest. Except the guy doesn't go mad, and the wheel break, and then you get stranded. Oh, this level looks like it's from uh, Song of Horror. I feel like I'm in Song of Horror. I hate it. Oh. Chapter 3, The Mountains of Madness. Ooh. I got a feeling the game just began. No new outfits. For the sh oh, wait, we got new outfits. Aw, oh, I can't change clothes. What is wrong with Watson? He looks... Watson? Why do you have green bruises on your head? Are you okay? Uh, okay, we're controlling Watson. Okay, okay, okay. But we'll have to end you here. Okay, we made progress. We're on chapter three. The game's getting very interesting. I'm liking the puzzles and the deduction. I suck at it, and it's taking me time to put things together. But I like it. But I will see you next time. In episode three, where we take on chapter three. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.